Yeah, I think um, I think just um, starting in playoffs, having uh, that zero and zero record, and just focusing on like what was in front of us, knowing what we had to get done. Um, I think that was just a fresh start for all of us, um, mental game. So yeah, I think we we did well as a team, starting thinking that way. Yeah, I think we treated playoffs kind of as a new season, clean slate, zero zero, nothing mattered. What happened before? Um, pan going in and obviously things weren't going our way going into playoffs so I mean I think it's just kind of a change of mindset and treating it as a new season I mean they pretty much said said it all yeah. it's a uh, playoff is definitely a new season for all of us and uh, you know a little bit the feeling of being an underdog kind of helped us well just like we had nothing to lose and uh, we left everything on the ice and luckily it went well for us we carried that underdog feeling into the next series uh, I don't think so. I think like this is gonna be a good game. I think we both. Uh, I mean, we play each other four times, so you know what to expect from each other. Uh, we had good games against them. Uh, obviously, maybe one or two didn't go our way, but it's a completely new game, so we'll see. Yeah, I mean, I think just rolling off the confidence that we got last weekend, and I thought we brought our best hockey that we had all season, and I think just like putting our next foot forward and bringing it this weekend, like we know how we can play. Um, after Boston this last weekend, so let's do it again, except for one level better. Yeah. And now that we now that we've done it, we know that we can do it. So, you know, there's uh, no turning back, and it's every step forward at this point. We're excited to play Boston or Toronto. Wow. <laughs> um, how um, what was it like too to get? How important was it to get Amanda back in the goal? Can you put that in the back in the series? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, love. She, I feel like she's been a centerpiece to White Cats hockey for a long time now, and um, she did great for us. She's someone that we can always count on in net, especially when we need big saves during uh, big games. So um, I think she's the quarterback of the team back there, and uh, everyone played confident from there out. And I thought when Jenna was in net for us, she did the exact same job, and I think it's – so nice having two goalies that you know you can rely on um, no matter what situation they're thrown in. And what was it like too to have the, the scoring right away and really be a little bit of the offense and more kind of that confidence to you in the first period to lead into that second period? Yeah, it definitely boosted our energy. Scoring first was, you know, that was one of our goals every game that we play, but getting that one on Boston, that was that was huge for us. The energy on the bench, it just, it was nonstop all game. So. Um, what uh, would it mean with all the adversity and everything that you look back over the whole season, like what would it mean to bring that same level of energy back to the team? Go for it. Go for it. I mean, it would mean a lot. Obviously, we had the big lows and highs in the, during the whole season. So just showing everyone and mostly to ourselves that like we are the good team, like we play well, it would mean like a lot to everyone. Yeah, going off of her, we did definitely have a roller coaster of a season and definitely on the decline heading into playoffs. But I think it just shows if uh, you hit the right stride at the right time, which is playoffs, that um, anyone can pull it off at the end. And we're just taking our next step forward. And I mean, I think it'd be really exciting to bring Isabel Cup back home. Yeah, that would be super exciting. We, we haven't had a great run at home here at Richfield, and we know that. We kind of feel bad a little bit. Um, but bringing home the cup to our fans would be the cherry on top to kind of pay back. And, you know, we did it. We cleaned up our game, and here we are. So, yeah. Uh, this team has a lot of people from Minnesota on it, but there's some diversity too. Like, what, what is special about this team? What? I mean, what, I don't know, what is this team special? Um, like you said, we have a lot of players from Minnesota and we are the state of hockey and the Whitecaps have been around for 20 years time, and yeah. there are some girls who have been on this team for a very long time and I think they've just come, they've showed us the ropes and now we have uh, rookies on the team that have come all the way from Europe and I don't know, I think it shows that we can have players from not only the state of hockey but everywhere around the world come together and form a team. I mean, for me, like, coming from Europe, it's super cool to see, like, all these girls from Minnesota being on the team for so long. It's just, I don't know, it's been super fun, and it's fun to be part of it. So 
it would be it would mean a lot to people to come by for sure. Did they uh, tell you anything that caught you off guard about Mexico? What was the biggest surprise about Mexico? Probably the cold, the winter, <laughs> the weather, yeah. I like heard it's going to be cold here, but I couldn't imagine like how cold it gets, so uh, yeah, I learned that really quick. Uh, one more, do you guys have a, a mantra or a mindset for Sunday that you really focus on that is personal and just like goal? Um, like personally or like as a team? Uh, either or, one. Is there one a bigger team? I think... I think our focus is just like, you know, take it one chip at a time, focus on Toronto, um, you know, forget about everything that's happened in the past. And yeah, we're just going to keep it rolling from last weekend. We got good vibes in practice. We're feeling really good. So. It's not that long ago, girls in Canada Cup and Community that you guys are having to play uh, for the World Cup. What does that mean to you as you think about like, yeah, uh, I were super fortunate in the position that we're in. Uh, being a little girl growing up playing hockey, you never thought you were going to play it as a career. And just the steps that we've taken alone in the past year is really crazy and now with our team having the success we found at the end of the season and playing for a championship it's it's just a dream come true and i think we're all super excited to get this opportunity to bring a cup home yes there's one uh thanks for coming up for practice everybody um, okay, I have questions for like each of you and then just like general questions. And so, uh, Steph, you've been with this team for a few seasons now. Uh, what kind of changes have you seen during those years and what makes this year different? Um, yeah, uh, throughout the years, I mean, each year has gotten just a little bit more serious and serious. I mean, we've gotten an increase on, you know, our salary cap and more practices. Um, that has been a big change. And then obviously coming to Richfield this year from TRIA, uh, we love it. We have our own locker room. Um, we are bringing our bags to and from practice. So that was a huge, huge uh, step up. Um, and we love the rink here. Um, but yeah, it's great. This isn't so much of a question as like a comment, but you had at least two blocks in Boston that just like were fully odd, like echoed. <laughs> yeah, I even went up to Lev. Uh, there's a just on ESPN Plus. I'm standing in front of her. She was like, "Oh, that block was amazing!" And we were laughing for a second. I was like, "Yeah, you saw that." <laughs> but yeah, I love love getting in the front of the puck. Love it. Um, Patty, as a defender, just. From what I was looking at, which I don't know what I'm talking about, but it looks like the two games against Boston were really different defensively than uh, previous games have been. Um, did it feel different to you? And like, was going into those games, was the preparation different? Um, yeah, I thought uh, these past two games that we had good lockdown D zone. And I think that's crucial in playoffs because it can be a one goal game. So um, I think a big focus was D zone first and then let the offense come. So I know specifically as a D core, um, that was definitely a main focus for us. Um, Denise, so I'm gonna say this wrong, but like you were with Brian, is it Brianus? Brianus, yeah. Brianus for three years. Um, so and then before that, you played with Boston. So what was it that brought you to Minnesota, other than the wonderful weather? <laughs> I, yeah, as you said, the weather was definitely number one thing. Uh, no, I, I definitely want to come back to the U.S. and play here again because I played for Boston Pride before before Sweden. And uh, I was fortunate enough to get this opportunity here. And I'm really happy to be part of Minnesota. And just, like, be back in this uh, PHF league. It literally grows so much. It's uh, it's unbelievable, like, the difference between, like, four years ago and now and, and how everything's moving forward and getting better and better for women's hockey. Uh, so for all of you, um, what are you expecting playing against Toronto? You played them four times this season. Um, what's the, the plan going in? 
I think they are pretty much similar to Boston. Um, they have like the same style, it's just fast, fast hockey, offense mostly. So, um, yeah, I think that's something we'll probably see. Yeah, um, I think it's important to focus on our game and what we can bring and our strengths and instead of so much focusing on them. They're obviously a very skilled and talented team and they have consistently played well all season. Um, so, yeah, it should be a high-paced physical game, and it should be really fun. Yeah, Patty mentioned physical game, and every game we played Toronto this year has been a battle, so we're we're ready for it. It's going to be an intense game. Um, all right, so playoffs, and especially the final, can be stressful. So how are you all staying and really still keeping everyone's spirits up? Honestly, I think just getting down in the Arizona sun, relaxing a little mm -hmm. bit for a couple of days. Um, I don't know. It should be fun. It should be a long, fun weekend. Yeah. And yeah. we got to have uh, like meals this past weekend together and spend a lot of time together in Boston. And we connected and it's kind of just rolling over into this weekend. Like, like I said, the practices have been good. Our vibe has been great. So honestly, we're not trying to keep it. I think the energy, energy up is just words. Words. Yeah. yeah. We're all in great moods. Yeah. Any particular tourist destinations in Tempe on the agenda? Mm -mm, not really. No, just seeing the sunshine. Yes, being <laughs> in the sun. All right. And what has been your favorite part of the season so far? <laughs> Honestly, last weekend, like yeah. just yeah. seeing how we came yeah. together as a team and like overcoming that zero and eight, and every like all odds were against us, but we yeah we played so well and played for each other. It was awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's fun being the underdog, and right now we're playing bonus hockey. Like, how much better does it get than that? Yeah. Thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.